Let's move on to terpenes. In the past, we've mainly talked about how terpenes modulate effects. And of course, if you've been listening for a while, you know that I'm like the energizing cannabis lady and I'm all about terpinaline, pinene, and lemonine. These are not really great for pain. So let's talk about other terpenes for pain. I, again, want to break this up into two parts. So the first part is that um, myrcene and linalol, luckily the sedating terpenes that are in like all dispensary weed, um, re reduce muscle pain. They soften the body. They allow the body to relax. They promote sleep. These are all good things if you're trying to experience less pain. That's amazing. Um, they do have a sedating quality, and that's okay for a lot of people who just want to sleep well through the night. Um, what's more interesting, there's always going to be a more interesting thing with me, by the way, so you should probably subscribe just to get ready. Um, last week, we had a pain re researcher on the podcast, Dr. John Stryker, who studies in his lab two specific terpenes that don't really have anything to do with energizing or sedating. Those two terpenes are beta carophylline and humulene. And in his models and the papers that he's published in rat models, um, he finds that high doses of these terpenes um, work to reduce pain by a completely separate mechanism.